Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about multiple integrals calculator techniques. And this will be our uh, topic for today's video. We are going to solve multiple integrals uh, with calculator techniques. So multiple integral employs either a double integral or a triple integral. And uh, oftentimes, we are bound to think how we are going to solve this uh, problem manually. Well, in fact, the calculator would make our lives easier by knowing, just simply knowing the calculator techniques. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, for problem number one, always remember that uh, we need to uh, switch our calculator in radian mode. So, we need to be in the radian mode. So, as you can see now, I'll be... Uh, setting up my calculator in radian mode rather than the degree mode. So evaluate this given integral wherein we have a double integral uh, basically composed of two variables x and y and dy over dx. So the very first thing that we need to learn before we try to evaluate this integral is that we need to set a pattern that whenever or whoever comes first in this case this is dy and then next is the dx. The dy should have uh, the uh, first okay, uh, integral here. And the dx should have the outermost uh, definite integral here. So in this case, we can rewrite this first as since we have a y squared dy here and we have x dx here. Since they are multiplied, we can uh, technically write this in this form. So, we have uh, integral of negative 3 to 2, okay? So, we have to have dy first, okay? So, integral also of from 0 to 1 of dy squared dy. So, we need to first analyze this having a limit of this, okay? Because this is technically the limit. And then, it is multiplied by x dx, of which the x dx has the limit of this and they are multiplied so basically what we did again is we have the dy okay being the first uh, variable here it's uh exact integral is this and we have the dx for the outermost part and it has a pair with this integral so what we did is simply we did uh split this two double integral into single integral and then multiply their product okay so as you can see here we have the integral of x dx evaluated from negative 3 to 2 and now we have y squared dy in our calculator we don't have a uh, dy in it whenever we press our integral it always yields to a dx so in this case we are going to simply change dy squared as x squared dx Okay, so what are we going to input in our calculator is this. Input in our calculator. So instead, we have uh, alpha x. Then we have from, there we have it from negative 3 to 2. And then that is basically multiplied by the x squared dx. And that represents your y squared dy from 0 to 1. So we are in radian mode, radian mode. Then we have uh, this uh, answer, negative 5 all over 6. So what we did first is we group, analyze the double integral, okay, by um, matching it with their appropriate definite integrals here. Okay, the, the inner have the inner uh, definite integral and, the, and this one, okay, dx will have the outer integral limits right so th that's basically the the calculator techniques for this multiple integral so for number two to better understand it we have this one so we have this integral we have 3x plus x squared y and it is basically multiplied by dy and dx so we know that dy has the pair of this integral and dx has the pair of this but first thing we're going to do is to distribute dy and dx. So basically, what will happen is that uh, 
we are going to separate this into dy and dx. And because we have uh, this uh, plus, we are going to separate dy and dx using the property of uh, uh, integral. So we have the integral from 0 to 3, integral from 0 to 2 of 3x dy dx. So remember, this is dy all over dx is multiplied, or dy and dx is multiplied by this 3x three, three dy dx. And that would be plus integral from 0 to 3, integral from 0 to 2 of x squared y dy dx. Basically, distributing dy all over dx. And from there, you can pair again dy to here and dx with here. Okay, of course, if you have any dy terms here in the integrand, you can pair it also with a dy. And if you have x, you can pair it also with, a, with x. And of course, this with dy will be in this and dx will be on this. So since I have x squared, I'll pair x squared with the dx and y dy with the dy. So the very first thing is so for the first term, we have, okay, I have to isolate so we have integral from 0 to 3 of 3 uh, dx being the outer. Okay. So being the, the outer, so we have 3 dx. And then the inner part, we have uh, uh, 3x dx, I mean. So sorry, we have 3x dx. We can have 3x dx here from 0 to 3. So we have 3x dx and then multiplied by integral of uh, from 0 to 2 of dy. Okay? So basically, we, we split this. So we have 3x dx and 3y dy along with their integrals. And plus, so we have dy to this 0 to 2. So uh, it can be changed. Now you, you can first write integral from 0 to 2 of dy okay, multiplied by integral of 3x dx from 0 to 3. So, it can be also interchanged. So, in this first, we will be doing dx first. So, we have from 0 to 3, we have x squared dx multiplied by, from 0 to 2, we have y dy. Of course, we, we did this. Okay. So, what are we going to do? All of dy's, we treat them as x. So, of course, for the first one, we have uh, 3 alpha x evaluated from 0 to 3. That, that is our first one. This, and then it is multiplied by y or dy, simply dy. So that dy will be dx treated as x. So we simply put 1 because there's a constant 1 there. Okay, 0 to 2. That's our integral of dy here. And then plus, don't forget the plus. So we have x squared dx evaluated from 0 to 3. Then multiply it by uh, y dy, which means x dx from 0 to 2. All right. So we're ready to get the answer. And the answer is 45. All right. That's how you try to solve it. Okay. So basically, uh, by the order of the variables here, you can match it with the certain uh, integral here. Okay. Do not, do not interchange it. Okay. So, innermost commensurates to the innermost integral and outermost matches with the outermost integral. So, for number 3, we have a, uh, with, we have a, uh, what do you call this, a triple integral. So, let me just rewrite first. We have x dx paired with this integral. So, I'm going to rewrite from 0 to 1. We have x dx. Okay. So after which, we have z squared and dz paired with this because we are we are following this dx and dz. So therefore, this is the, the limits. So we have uh, from 0 to 3 of z squared dz. And then that is multiplied again by the dy. Okay. Do we have y here? So we have y dy. And its integral will be this. So, from negative 1 to 2, so we have now y dy. So, treating all of the variables such as z and y into x, okay, it, uh, we will not be having any problems with that because the calculator only gives us a, a variable of x. So, we have integral of x from 0 to 1. 
then integral of uh, z squared which means x squared from 0 to 3 and we have the integral of y dy which means x dx from negative 1 to 2 so we try to enter to see what will be the given answer of our calculator so we have 27 all over 4 and that commensurates to choice A. So that's how you, you do it. It's very easy rather than um, manually computing this. Because in manual computation, you're going to do first x dx and then evaluate the integral. And after which, whatever you get, okay, you will evaluate a dz with this corresponding integral treating x as constant. Right? Because you are integrating with respect to z. Okay, so and uh, after you integrated it all, you're going to integrate it with respect to dy and get the proper answer. So for number four, we have a very simple double integral here. We have x sine y dy dx evaluated from 0 to pi and 0 to 1. So matching first with the integral. So we have dy with this along with sine y. Then we have dx with uh, this integral along with the, the variable x okay so that's how we do it so the very first one is uh, let's try it first um, uh, doesn't matter uh, who, 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 who you write first so we have from 0 to pi I'll write first in this case the dy so we have sine y dy multiplied by from 0 to 1 integral of x dx so you have it here x dx and then with the uh, integral here x dx. So this is what I'm trying to say. Your calculator must be in region because it involves trigonometric function sine. So we have sine of x. We're going to, to treat y as x from 0 to pi. And then we have to, to get the integral of L x dx from 0 to 1. So once we get it, we have an answer of 1. And that is basically letter A. Alright, for our last problem, hopefully you guys can, uh, are getting it. So for this problem, we simply uh, distribute dy and dx here. So we have from 1 to 3, from 2 to 4, of 40 dy dx minus, because of this minus, from 1 to 3, from 2 to 4, of 2xy dy and dx so again of dy is here dx is here the same goes with this y dy for here and 2x dx for here so we have to write it so we have from 2 to 4 of doesn't matter where you uh associate 40 with it's constant by the way and it will be uh, uh treated as constant so 40 dy, let's say, and then multiplied by uh, integral of dx from 1 to 3. Minus, we have for y dy, from 2 to 4, we have y dy, and then that's multiplied by 2x dx. So 2x dx. So you can also relate 2 here in the y dy. It's up to you. Okay? Since it's constant, the answer would not be affected. So 2x uh, dx 1 to 3, evaluated from 1 to 3. So what matters most is you are going to get the proper integral for dy and you get the proper integral for dx. Okay, so let's try to solve. Treating all of the variables as x, so we have four, uh, integral of 40 and then we have from 2 to 4 of dx. And then that's that represents dy. Then we have dx, so we have to put one here because it's simply dx from one to three. Then we have minus here integral of y dy, that's x dx from two to four. Then we have finally multiplied it by two x dx. Two x dx from one to three. So that is basically uh That's basically 112. I haven't um, uh, changed the multiple choice. So, so basically, let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, this is uh, zero. This is three. 
or 100, 210, this is 112. The answer is D. Okay, so I haven't changed the choices. So the answer here is 112. Okay, so that's it. Uh, no matter how hard the integral is, if you can, if you know the calculator technique to it, you can answer it correct. So uh, thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Engineer Abbott, and um, see you again when I see you with the uh, webinar or series about the multiple integral calculator techniques.